Hi, I'm Sophie Summers, and as always, welcome to the Crossdressing Lifestyle Channel. Now, today's video has been inspired by a recent comment sent in by Patrick Fennell. Now, Patrick was very kind to watch and comment on a recent video we did about hosiery and layering, and his comment really did sort of set the old grain matter thinking a little bit here. And his comment was, you have Julie Newmar's legs, which I do appreciate you saying, Patrick. And as a side note, Julie Newmar has a patent on pantyhose designs. She invented the butt separating style to give pantyhose wearers an apple bottom. Now, that made me think a little bit because I'm probably like most of you, familiar with the name Julie Newmar from the very famous drag film, which is Tu Wong Fu. Thank you for everything, Julie Newmar. So I was quite interested in putting the two things together to find out a little bit what Julie Newmar had to do with the film in the first place, which is, as you know, a very iconic drag roadshow. Not Bing Crosby style and Bob Hope, but very interesting film. So what does Julie Newmar have to do with that particular film? Let's find out, shall we? So tell us all about it, Julie. The film comes from an autographed photo of moi that the guys or the girls find in a New York restaurant. They use it as a sort of good luck compass guiding them on this spectacular road trip to Hollywood. This is a road movie. Thank you, Julie, for sharing that wonderful insight with us. But what about you, the person? Well, Julie Newmar was born in August 1933 and trained at an early age to become a prima ballerina, where she appeared in several successful productions on Broadway. Now, standing at a very impressive 5 feet 11, with a 31-inch inside leg and a very envious 22-inch waist, you could say a Julie stood out quite easily. Plus the fact that I'm sure you'll agree with me, even today, Julie's a very beautiful lady. Now, the one thing I really always impresses me about this lady is some of the quotations that are attributed to her. Now, the one that I really do like is this one. It's tell me I'm beautiful, it's nothing. Tell me I'm intellectual, well, I know it. Tell me I'm funny and it's the greatest compliment in the world anyone can give me. Now, I think that's a lovely saying and it goes a long way because Julie Newmar was and is without doubt a very beautiful woman and quite an intellectual as well. Today, she has quite an impressive portfolio of property because she went into property management. But I think one of the things that she's more famous for at this moment in time is being the original cat woman in the Batman films, where she starred in the first two series of the old Adam West Batman. She was eventually replaced in the third series by, of all people, Eartha Kitt. Now, Julie Newmar is attributed with lots of film productions and lots of things, but one thing that maybe not everybody knows about is, as we suggested in the opening of this video, a couple of American patents, and they are on pantyhose and also on brasiers. She is attributed to have an American patent on an almost invisible bra. It's a little bit Marilyn Mon Monroe-esque, or modeled on her, but this goes to show what a very talented woman Julia Newmar is, without doubt. Now, it is that fascinating thing about the pantyhose that got me thinking a little bit because basically she turned her talents to many areas and it all came down to necessity because she didn't believe that the standard type of pantyhose available in the 70s was really for her because with those long legs of hers it didn't really show them off to their full advantage so she went about designing her own type of pantyhose which today is I suppose they, they were marketed as nude ma pantyhose. So if you see any of those about, it's well worth grabbing a hold of a pair where they're still available. Now, that is a very short introduction into Julie Newmar, and I hope it inspires you to find out a little bit more because I think she's an absolutely fascinating character. 
a little bit unpredictable. She got into a quite a well-known spat with Belushi in the States, which was quite well documented, standing up for a right. So I think it was to do with a leaf blower and noise. So she is still a very active today. If you want to find out more, look her up on the internet. So thank you very much for tuning in to this a very short but hopefully mildly interesting video. If you want to find out a little bit more, as I say, look up Julie Newmar on the Tinternet. And all that really remains for me to say is, as always, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and stay gorgeous. And until the next time, bye-bye.